Hi everyone, Jacinto here. Today I'll be going over how I chose my main class for Shadowlands. Choosing a main for a new expansion is always a tough decision, so I wanted to go over my process to hopefully help everyone decide. So let's jump right into it. When first deciding on a main class, I made criteria to guide my decision. I spent this tier playing Beastmaster Hunter, which is considered by many to be an easier class to play, so my first criterion was that I wanted my class to be more complex than Beastmaster Hunter. The second criterion was that I wanted my class to fit into my raid group's composition. I planned a DPS in raids, and ranged DPS is always needed, so I was leaning more towards ranged DPS. I was also prepared to fill any gaps in classes that my raid group had. I also wanted a class that could play multiple roles, so that I could be flexible as an off-healer off-tank in raids, as well as fill those niche roles in Mythic+. Plus. Finally, and most importantly, I wanted to enjoy whatever class I ended up playing. Since I'll be playing the class for many, many hours, I want to make sure that I continue to have fun playing it throughout the expansion, or at least the tier. With my criteria in mind, I then went over all the classes and played all the DPS specs on the pre-patch, since I didn't have access to Shadowlands beta. I narrowed it down to four classes. Druid, Shaman, Death Knight, and Priest. All of these classes seemed to fit into the criteria that I made for myself. They all felt more complex than Beastmaster Hunter to me, they all fit into my raid group's current composition, they could all play multiple roles, and I enjoyed these classes' DPS specs, at least more than the other classes' DPS specs. With these classes in mind, I want to get a more in-depth look of how these classes play. So I first went to the training dummies to really nail down the rotation of these classes. Starting with Druid, I knew that I'd end up playing Balance going into raids. Balance felt pretty good to me. I didn't really like pressing three separate buttons to keep up three separate dots. Even though crucial to keep up, it felt like I wasn't really doing a whole lot during the rotation at this time. Pooling up Astral Power didn't appeal to me as much as well, as I felt I was casting Starfire and Wrath quite a bit before spending that Astral Power on Star Surge. I then thought about the other specs that I could play as a druid. I've always been keen to try out Feral and high level content, but they never seem to really get the love that they deserve. Especially right now, they don't seem to be in a great position. I really like healing as a Wrestle Druid, so that's a big plus for me. Especially healing as a Wrestle Druid in Mythic Plus. I'd probably end up doing that quite a bit if I ended up playing Druid. Now going to Bear, I do love tanking, but Bear isn't my favorite tank out there. It's probably one of the tanks that I enjoy the least. With everything considered, I decided Druid probably wasn't for me. I didn't enjoy balance as much as I thought I would, and that was a crucial role in deciding on whether I want to main Druid or not. The next class I looked into was Priest, so I tried out Shadow Priest on the training dummies and really tried to learn its rotation. I was pretty excited when Shadow Priest got reworked, so it was definitely one of my top contenders for DPS for me. Having Devouring Plague work as Ignite was a really nice change as well. However, I found that the playstyle just wasn't as smooth as I thought it would be. The synergy between Mind Flay and Mind Blast was, felt a little bit clunky at times. I did like how Shadow Priests had Mass Dispel, which can be very useful in certain situations. Looking at the Priests' other two specs, we have Holy and Disc. Holy is probably one of my least favorite healers, and it doesn't seem to be performing as well as Disc right now. Discipline, however, is definitely up there for me for healers. It's got quite a unique playstyle, dealing damage and healing simultaneously. Although I'd probably enjoy getting better at Disc Priest, the rotation for Shadow just wasn't as fun as I thought it would be, so in the end I decided Priest wasn't for me. Next up, I wanted to look into Shaman, specifically Elemental Shaman. I've never mained a Shaman before, so the opportunity to play a class that I've never really played at a high level was really enticing to me. The Elemental Shaman rotation felt really good, I thought it was really smooth, there's a lot to do, lots of procs going on and happening at the same time, but I thought it was really fun in general. I also really liked the Elemental Shaman toolkit, with Tremor Totem, Spirit Walker's Grace, Earth Elemental, and much more. Although Elemental Shaman are only looking to be mid-pack in Shadowlands DPS currently, I still wanted to play it more as I really had fun with the rotation. Now looking at Shaman's other specs, I never really planned to play Enhancement that much, I just never really found it appealing to me. Usually when a class has a ranged option and a melee option, I'll almost always pick the ranged option. It usually just ends up being more useful in raids, as a lot of melee can get pretty cluttered around the boss. Now looking at the spec Restoration for Shamans, I really like how Restoration played. Even though Restore Shamans didn't perform that well on Mythic Class during BFA, they looked pretty strong in Shadowlands, at least for raiding. So even though Enhancement didn't excite me very much, I kept Shaman open as an option just because how much I liked Elemental and Restoration. Finally, I wanted to try the fourth class that I picked, which was the Death Knight. Death Knight has been my main class in WoW for most of my time playing the game. I started playing Death Knight right when Wrath of the Lich King came out. I made a Blood Death Knight from the beginning of Wrath of the Lich King to the beginning of BFA. I know originally that I wanted to prioritize ranged DPS, but the prospect of tanking Mythic Plus dungeons as a Blood DK was really appealing to me going into Shadowlands, so that's kind of why I wanted to try out the Death Knight. 
I decided to try out Unholy on the training dummies, as I already knew how Frost played, and I'd rather play Unholy as long as the spec is doing better. I thought the Unholy rotation was pretty good. There was some downtime when you don't have any runic power and you don't have any runes up, but apart from that, it seemed to flow pretty smoothly. One thing I was not a fan of is Unholy damage being so bursty. When Army of the Dead is up, you're doing so much damage, but when it's down, your damage really plummets a lot. Going into the other two specs of Death Knight, I would have been okay playing Frost and Raid as well. Frost feels very proc based, it doesn't feel as dynamic as Unholy, but again, I'd be okay playing it, it's not the worst thing ever. Now looking at Blood, this is what really excited me about playing a Death Knight. Since I've played Blood DK for so long from Wrath to BFA, I was really familiar with it, and I did want to get back into playing the spec. I did still plan to DPS in raids, but I did want to push keys as a Blood Death Knight. So after considering everything about the Death Knight class, I decided to keep the option open to play a Death Knight, along with Shaman. Now that I narrowed it down to two classes, I wanted to test both of the classes in Mythic Plus. Elemental Shaman felt really good in Mythic Plus. Its single target and AoE rotations were quite different, so it gave it some flavor to the class. I like that there was no downtime, and the utility that Elemental Shaman had really brought a lot to Mythic Plus, which increased his skill cap by a lot. I definitely had a lot of work to put in to master the class, but I thought it was really fun, and I could see myself enjoying playing Elemental Shaman in a raid and Mythic Plus setting for sure. Now moving on to the Death Knight, I knew if I chose the Death Knight as my main, I'd mainly be playing Blood in Mythic Plus. I do think I'd enjoy Unholy in Mythic Plus as well, but I really enjoy tanking as a Blood DK in the dungeons. Blood felt really good to tank on, and it really reminded me how much I missed tanking on a Blood DK in dungeons. I haven't tanked dungeons as a Blood DK since early BFA, so it's been quite a while. I really enjoy the Death Knight's tanking style of self-sustainability, and it's just really satisfying to see those huge Death Strike heals going off on your health. So now with both classes tested in Mythic Plus, I was ready to make my decision. I do enjoy Elemental Shaman's rotation better than Unholy Death Knight, but I just enjoy tanking as a Blood Death Knight so much. Because of this, I crossed off the Shaman and chose the Death Knight as my main class. So as you can see, the main decider for me was playing that Blood Death Knight spec that I likely wouldn't be playing in a raid setting. Out of everything in Shadowlands, I really looked forward to pushing Mythic Plus keys as a Blood Death Knight, and I knew I had to raid at a Mythic level to get the highest level gear possible, and probably get all my best in slots. Playing on Holy Death Knight in raids allowed me to get my DPS fill in raids, and allowed me to get the gear that I need to progress in Mythic Plus as a Blood Death Knight. So that's how I decided what class to main in Shadowlands. I hope this video helps you out in deciding your main for Shadowlands as well. Thank you so much for watching the video everyone, I really appreciate all the support, and I'll see you in the next one.